We're looking at the Arc Clone Move command today. This video was part of my Arc Clone 101 series, so check those videos out to learn more about how to use Arc Clone. Let's look at the Move command. With Arc Clone, you can move files from one location to another, deleting the source in the process. Arc Clone Move Firefox JPEG into E. Complete. Our clone will copy the file to the destination and then delete the source after the fact. If the file already exists at the destination, it will be overwritten with the move command. Consider this. I have example.txt on the E drive with this text in it and example.txt on the desktop with nothing in it. If we do move on example on the desktop, which has nothing in it, it should overwrite and erase everything. We open it up, we see the data is gone. Let's look at moving folders. I have this folder called docs that has a folder with spreadsheets and some example docs. I can do R clone move. We're just going to move docs to E in a folder called documents. So this is one way in which you can rename the source folder to the destination. And let's put minus P to see the progress of this. So let's go ahead and move this. And we see we now have documents folder with all the files. You notice that the source still exists, except it just has empty folders. It deleted all the files, but not the folders. If you wish to remove the source folder after moving the files, we can do the command again, but this time add the delete empty source directories option. Run this command again, and it went ahead and deleted the subfolders. The move command, like with copy and sync, support filtering. So you can filter by size, the age of a file, and you can use all the filtering patterns, or you can supply a filter file. I've got some Excel documents here in spreadsheets. What I like to do is move them into a folder with just Excel spreadsheets. Now use a filter to accomplish this. So what I'll do is say arm clone move and specify the folder. And I'm going to move it to the E drive in a folder called Excel. I'll use the filter flag. You can also use include or exclude. I'll use filter since it's more flexible for me. And since I just want to move these Excel documents, we'll do plus star dot the file extension excel as x and then filter out the rest of the contents of this folder with minus star now this command will actually move all excel documents not just what's in spreadsheets so if i have one here and let's do a dry run on this so let's see what happens we can see all the spreadsheets excel documents get moved along with the sample one at the root of docs. Running that, we now have our Excel folder with sample Excel and our spreadsheets which has all the Excel documents. Let's say you wanted to limit the size of files that you move. I've got some videos here and this one video, Ancient Aliens Debunked is over a gig in size. I like to copy all my videos but not this file in particular. We could simply filter it by file name, but what if I had lots of video files over a gig and didn't want to put them in a filter file? So we can do move. I'm going to move my videos into E videos. I'm going to set the max size to one gig with one G. So nothing over a gig will be moved. We do a dry run on this. We can see we don't see that ancient aliens debug the video in here. Let's go ahead and move this. And we'll see the videos folders has been created and it's now going ahead and copying all of these video files, but we should not see this one gig file. Again, how move works is it will go ahead and copy the files. After a successful copy, it will remove the source files and the move is complete. Now, I know what you're going to be saying, Dre, every system has a move command. What is so special about the R clone move command? It's not until you realize you can use the R clone move command to move files on the cloud or from cloud to cloud that you really see how special it is. 
First, I've got my docs folder, and I'm just going to go ahead and move all of this stuff onto the cloud. I've got a remote set up for Amazon S3. If I look inside there, we'll do LSD on my S3 remote inside of Drake Query. And I've got these folders. I'm going to go ahead and create one. Well, actually, no, we'll just use the move command to create it. I'm going to do move. I'm going to move the docs folder onto Amazon S3 inside a folder called docs. And you see all the files are gone. They've all been uploaded to the cloud. If I do LSD on Drake Query again, we see we now have a docs folder. And if I do LS on docs, I can see all the files that were in docs. Let's say I wanted to move this folder to a different bucket or folder. I've got a bucket called trace share, which has picks in it. I'm going to go ahead and move everything from the docs folder in my Drake query bucket and move it to a different bucket in folder. I'll move it to trace share in a folder called docs. So we simply use the move command from our clone, which does a server side move. It's much, much faster. You can move whole swaths of files very quickly using the our clone move command. Let's go ahead and do LSD or LS on the trace share. Uh, let's do LSD so we can see the folder. And we now have the docs folder. We do LS on docs. We see we have those files. LSD in my Drake query bucket, we see that the docs folder is gone. Now, the source was moved on Amazon S3 from this bucket to the other because you can't have empty buckets on Amazon S3. So that's why it's completely gone. With our clone, it is possible to move entire backups from one cloud provider to another. Let's pretend that the docs folder is a backup on my trace share on Amazon S3. And I want to move it over to my Backblaze account, which also has a bucket called trace share. I'll go ahead and do move on S3. That docs folder into my B2 remote that has a trace share bucket. There's nothing in there, so I'll call it documents. Minus P, and let's do a dry run, and we see everything will be moved over. Let's go ahead and run this. And our clone is moving those files from Amazon S3 to Backblaze. Let's do LSD on, or let's just do LS on the Amazon S3. Share docs. Nothing. LSD and trace share on Amazon S3, docs is gone. Let's look at B2, see what's inside of there. We've got documents and inside of documents. We've got all of our files. So if you ever wanna move from one cloud provider to another, our clone makes it extremely easy to do so. You don't have to download and then re-upload from one cloud service provider to another. That's the power of the rclone move command. Again, I've got more videos for rclone and more to come in the future. So check out those videos for more rclone -y goodness. If you like my content, consider becoming a YouTube member. Get early access to new content or consider becoming a Patreon member and get access to exclusive content too hot for YouTube.